The deadline for Sacramento State students to certify that they've received a COVID-19 vaccination was on Monday. 87% of our students met that deadline. Vice President of Student Affairs Ed Mills sent an email to the remaining 4,306 students. Letting them know that since they had failed to meet that deadline, they were not allowed on campus until they completed that certification. Between Monday, when that email was sent out, and Wednesday afternoon, about 2,100, or nearly half of those not certified, are now in compliance. Oh, no way. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. So, and just having that protection and knowing everyone else around here has to have that level of protection just makes you like feel like a bit more safer. But not every student is happy about it. I feel like the kids should have had at least a choice of whether we should get it or whether we shouldn't get it. Um, but at the end of the day, we have to listen to the higher ups if we really want to pass to get that degree. Students have to provide which vaccine they received and the dates. The university has the ability to verify that information. They're also asked to upload a copy of their vaccination card through the student portal. Students who are not vaccinated or choose not to share their proof of vaccination have a choice. To declare a medical or religious exemption or let us know that they were taking fully online classes and would not be physically accessing the campus. Cairo Torres has one of those exemptions. We have to get tested twice a week. Um, that's a lot of strain for some people. If students don't submit their certification or have not been participating in the on-campus testing program set up for those with approved exemptions, this administrator says... We will drop the in-person classes that they have. They can retain online classes, but any in-person class will be administratively dropped from their schedule. Walter McCalla, KCRA 3 News.